Hi, welcome to Bamboo Archery. My name is Anwar Matsaad of Eureka Archery. Today I'm here with Rono and we are testing out this bow. This is called the Kadash bow by AF Archery or Egyptian bow as we know it. So apparently Kadash is one of the cities in Egypt and this is how the bow looks like. It is an angular bow. If you notice here, you will see the tip here looks reminiscent to a recurve or rather a hunting longbow. Uh, the handle is bending forward like this. It has a very long serving over there. Brace height wise, it looks pretty high, almost my thumb length. So for me, it's quite all right. And the bow here that we have is 40 pounds, rated at 28 inches. And we are shooting using the Taurus Carbon 400 arrows. And from what I gathered, uh, Ronald mentioned that this combination is actually about 12 GPP, so heavy. But uh, that will also show us that even with a heavy arrow, it launches the arrow forward rather efficiently. So this is how the bow looks like. Very nice, angular, not as elegant as a Tata, Turkish or any of those Asiatic uh, horse bows that we like to call it. I mean, the Egyptians, they do ride the carriages to shoot on horseback, but uh, we'll give it a few shots first with the tongue draw. And then after that, we'll try with the Mediterranean draw and I'll tell you what it feels like. So first arrow, we have here the, I think now this is limited edition Taurus Carbon Arrow 400 Spine with four fletches. You can see that. Now we all use the white ones. So we'll try this 90 degrees on the string and the, uh, we call this on the arrow pass. And now we're going to try to shoot it. So the target we're going for today is about 12 meters. And uh, we'll try that using the thumb draw. Straight to the bullseye. Don't worry, I'll bring the camera there to see it together. I'm not cheating or anything. We can see it together after this. So second arrow. Okay, that one is a bit off. So these ones, 10 GPP, we have 500 uh, 3 fletch and 500 4 fletch will give us about 10 GPP. Uh, shooting those heavy arrows, I feel a strong vibration on the bottom lip, but uh, some movements in the handle. But if you are, uh, I would say, competent with the thumb draw, it actually performs quite well, surprisingly. Uh, again, not as elegant as the Turkish or the Tatars or the Mings. This is the Egyptian bow, very angular, straight like this. A very simple design, I would say. Perhaps the construction is not so simple, but we are not so used to this kind of designs in Malaysia. Let's try this 500 spine Taurus with four fletches, which will bring us down to about 10 GPP. So let's try this. Okay, so you can definitely feel uh, the vibration is a little bit more. Um, the hand shock, uh, let me try this again. Okay, again, now this is a Taurus, you can see this is the white one. This is the new, uh, I would say the new stock. All the stock now comes with white fletches so that if you want to customize it, you can dip it in the uh, dye of your choice to make your own custom colored fletchings. So let's try this uh, 500 spine, three fletch, Taurus arrows. Yeah, so definitely the bottom limb vibrates a little bit more. But uh, performance wise, let's take a look together. So this is the Kadash bow by AF Archery. And let's take a look at the target. So you can see there, this was the uh, heavy ones, heavy arrow, 400 spine, straight to the middle, uh, the yellow down here, white here, and this one was a little bit off. But performance wise, at 12 meters, it's very hard to tell. Usually uh, we would test it at 20, 25 meters to see the arrow trajectory based on the arrow use. All right, let's go back to the shooting line and we'll try three fingers. We'll try it with three fingers. We'll start with the 400 spine Taurus fist. 
Okay, 400 spine Taurus, shooting at 12 meters. Mediterranean draw. First arrow. Okay, we're gonna make sure that it is about 90 degrees. Okay, so let's go. So bear in mind, I'm not using any finger protection or anything, so just bare fingers to shoot this. So I'm not doing any follow through, I'm keeping my, my right hand as steady as possible, reminiscent to Mediterranean draws. Uh, so far, the arrow is straight. Okay, 90 degrees again, make sure. Let's try this. I feel that somehow for me, using the three fingers with this bow is a lot better. Oh, well, that's my own personal preference, of course. Okay, let's try. Okay, 500 spine. With a lighter arrow, definitely you can feel some shock, some compared to the 400. Vibration is still about the same. Other than that, uh, again, like I said, not used to the forward handle like this, but somehow it feels quite good. Using the thumbs of the thumb draw just now, somehow the Katra comes preloaded, I guess, with this kind of handles, but uh, not bad. Okay, so I'm going to retrieve that and we'll do a uh, two camera uh, shooting so that you can see how I'm aiming and how the arrow flies. Okay, so you can see in front there, that is the target and you can also see me shooting it from here. Uh, I'll be using the Mediterranean draw because I feel that it is more comfortable for me with this bow. And we'll of course start with the 400 spine uh, Taurus with 4 flashes, actually heavy for the bow at 12 GPP approximate. So let's try this. Very nice. Um, for those of you who may be familiar with the Assyrian type of bows, it somehow has a similar feel to an Assyrian bow, at least to my, in my opinion. But due to the lack of sears here and here, I would suppose that it actually has less chances of failure and there's a lot less weight on the tips of the bow here. So let's try this with the, oh sorry, wrong arrow. I'm gonna have to use a 400 first. This one. Okay. Drawing it full back here, anchoring it, you don't feel uh, any stacking, at least not for me. You don't feel much of an issue. Because sometimes this kind of bow, when it's just flat like this, you may be able to hit the wall much faster. But this one, it's not bad. Uh, what's the next one drawing this? 32 inches max draw, there you go. So draw back and back, fine, fine, fine. And with the lighter arrows, it does kick a lot more compared to the 400. And here lastly, the 500 spine forest with the tree flash. Very nice and very smooth bow to shoot. Uh, this is how the bow looks like and after this we'll do a very uh, quick review and verdict on this bow, the Kalash bow by AF Archery. So what do I think of the Kalash bow by AF Archery? Um, it looks very simple, very inconspicuous, it looks very uh, light, it's actually physically light. And if you're doing horseback archery, you look very interesting with this. And perhaps if you're trying out chariot back archery, you would look like an Egyptian pharaoh. But other than that, this is the bow. It has a very nice crazy horse leather handle. Very long serving. Uh, rather long limbs like this as well. And the, well, the length is about 52 inches, if I'm not mistaken. And it has here on the back, on the belly side, uh, black fiberglass in matte finish. So for those of you who prefer to have the matte finish, this looks actually very nice. So here, Ronald is giving me the measuring tape to measure it from tip to tip. Oh, 56. 56 inches. Yeah, 56. 
Okay, so Ronald has measured this for us at 56 inches, 32 inches max draw, and this is the draw profile. Very comfortable to draw actually. And um, since I'm not used to this kind of bows, actually it feels quite good. It feels quite good in the hands, nice drawing uh, feel, and when you release it, somehow Katra is built in if you're using thumb draw. So how much is this bow here for the Malaysian market? It is actually very, very affordable at only 900 ringgit. And so far, what Ronald has shared with me, this bow has the least issue in terms of warranty. Why? Because of the simplicity of the design, as well as the ergonomicness of the handle and the shooting experience. However, I, do, I must warn you, uh, you can actually feel some vibration from the bottom limb when you release the arrow using the thumb draw. Using the three fingers, you feel it, but not as much. So who is this bow for? Everyone, anyone, anyone out there. So this is the Kadash bow by AF Archery, now available in Bamboo Archery. If you'd like to purchase this bow, do give us a contact, or you can also reach out to Ronald at Bamboo Archery. So till next time, my name is Anwar Mats Art of Eureka Archery. Today I'm in Bamboo Archery with Ronald Chong. And do not forget, be an archer today.